round number two here. Uh, my opponent won the roll and chose to play, which I'm definitely okay with. And this is a pretty good hand. I'm just going to draw land. Hopefully an island so we can play this messenger drake on time. There it is. Up against another black deck. Black may not necessarily be the best color in M14 Limited, but it is probably my favorite to play with. Yep, Festering Newt's pretty good against Child of Night. So let's just hold back my own Festering Newt so he can't attack into it and gain any life. Black Mirrors are always interesting because opposing Doom Blades are rendered pretty inefficient. Let's play my Shimmering Grotto now. This seems like a good matchup for my Red Splash. Um, all for the trade, I guess. Sure. Mind Rot also shines in this matchup. <clears throat> now I just play my Sea Sky at end of turn, I guess. Unless he has his own, that'd be pretty bad. Probably should have respected that, but got lucky there. What? Guess he didn't want to punish me for it. Okay. Probably should have played my own in response, so he didn't essence scatter it. I guess that means I can resolve my messenger drake. He did have the essence scatter. Alright, I'm actually okay with that. Unless he has a second one, I'm going to resolve my messenger drake now. Once again, flooding out. Still think it's small sample size though, because we've only drawn four spells and eight lands. Oh, should have gotten in with my Festering Newt. Oh well. It's one damage. Shouldn't make a difference in this matchup. What do we have here? Liturgy of Blood? Cursed Spirit. That's fine. I have Festering Newt. More lands. All right. Start beating. Wish I had a mind rot right about now. Air servant wouldn't be the worst either. Getting in. All right. Let's go for the trade. Maybe he forgot about that. Yeah, a Cursed Spirit is a very good card against non-black decks, but against me it's pretty bad because I got to trade my 1-drop for his 4-drop. Nightwing Shade, that's a good one. Okay, I guess I can get some card advantage value, I guess, if I needed it, which I kind of do. I can take a few hits from the Nightwing Shade can currently become a 4-4, four, four, which is a 3-turn clock if I choose not to block, and he taps out every turn, so I'm not too afraid of that. Looks like he's kind of flooding out too, which is good news. He's getting in with both. Take it. Oh, he's going to play something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that, I guess. Well, gee, I guess I have to uh, hold my guy back now because I have no way to get rid of that Guardian. Uh, we've gotten pretty unlucky with our lands. You can jump into the comments and tell me if you think that I'm just whining even though I played 18 lands, but we've drawn 10 lands and 5 spells now, which is definitely not uh, correct. Since we have 22 spells and 18 lands, we should be drawing more spells than lands. 
and he's drawing relevant threats now. So yeah, at least he can't attack this turn. Hmm. Well, that would have been nice a few thousand turns ago. I guess I'm going to keep running out my lands. Um, yeah, I can't attack. We'll just keep sitting back. I mean, it might be correct to sack this Messenger Drake, but I don't think so because he currently has... Whoa, what's this? End of turn something? Disperse? Frost Breath. That's pretty good. Can't Essence Scatter that. Um... I'm going to sack this, I guess, just to draw a card. Yeah, maybe should have done that first. Okay, so we're probably dead pretty soon. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're on a two-turn clock in the air. Can't do anything about that. He has no cards in hand, so Essence Scatter is pretty worthless. Yeah, just an unlucky game, I think. Could just be me whining, but... I do truly believe that we've gotten fairly unlucky this game. Drawing 10, 10 lands. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Play a creature so I can feel like I got some value. Come on, Air Servant. Nope, we're dead. That's wonderful. Oh, there's our all our action. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, Moto Shuffler. Uh, it's always the Shuffler's fault, don't you know? Um, what do I want? I think our main deck's pretty well positioned. Pacifism deals with a 7-7, seven, seven, but our Shadowborn Demon also does. I feel like we don't want to metagame against the 7-drop that he can't even, that he's not even going to draw every game. So we're just going to keep the main board the same. Shock and Flames are not bad in this matchup because black and blue creatures are generally pretty under-costed. Um, maybe I want Duress. What would I take out? Claustrophobia also deals with his Guardian and Mind Rot in a lot of cases. I guarantee you if I cast a Mind Rot, he's going to discard a Guardian of the, Ga of the Ages or whatever it's called uh, next game. Maybe Mark the Vampire I want to cut, because he's going to have a lot of removal. Let's try that. Maybe I can cut a land, too, in that case. Nah. Not going to be results-oriented. I will not play first. Once again, we've drawn both of our off-color lands and the Mute Vault. Maybe I should have cut Mute Vault again, but Mute Vault's actually not too bad in this matchup. I am going to mulligan. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep this hand. Another benefit to being on the draw, you can draw out of your... Oh, see? Now we have a play on turn one. Whoa. That's a lot of things. Um, I think his domestication is what we have to get rid of, even though this hand is kind of terrifying. Let's get his domestication. Because that thing can just win games out of nowhere. At least we know he has no action. I mean, we don't either, but he can start time ebbing us, but he has no pressure, so that's not as important. I probably would have mulligan that hand. It's very interesting. Keep by him, and we get a mind rot. Um, I'm still going to save it, though. Wait until he only has a few cards in hand. Oh, he drew something. That's pretty good. Might have drawn an Essence Scatter, but I'd rather let him attack with a Cockatrice first. Oh, he drew something. Okay, so now I know his hand is two frost or one Frost Breath and two Time Ebbs. That's fine. I'm still going to play my Messenger Drake, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Ooh, I can also Archeomancer Duress him. I think I'd rather mind rot him first. 
Um, I'm going to play my Messenger Drake. Hmm. What are my options? Really don't want to get time ebbed. I think I'm going to start off with a Mind Rot. And then he'll probably save a Frost Breath or a, a time ebb. Do this, get in for five. And then I untap with six lands. I can Messenger Drake. And then he attacks again. I have to block here. I get to draw a card. <sighs> Frost Breath is a real card, too. If he draws a land, he can do two things. I don't want that, so I think I have to Mind Rot him. It doesn't feel great though, just because our mana is not very well set up for this line. But his hand is a little too powerful for me to deal with. I already got both of his time ebbs out of him. So I think I will attack. And we're going to take a fair bit of damage on the other s on the backswing. At least we can represent Essence Scatter. Oh, he's just not going to respect it. That's cool. Oh, maybe he is. His deck's probably a bit better than mine, just because of the, the time ebbs, which we are lacking. Alright, well, that was a good one. And he did not respect my my line. Wow, that was an insane draw. I mean, it wasn't insane. We can only kill one guy, but... Hmm... Which one do I want to kill, though? I think I have to kill the, uh, the Cursed Spirit, because I have no way of killing it. What are my options here? I can also... I have to draw a Mountain in order to Arche Archeomancer the Flames, because I currently have to lose the land for the Shimmering Grotto to produce red. Maybe I just kill the Nightwing Shade. Yeah, I think I have to kill the Nightwing Shade. Because that's actually going to be a bigger threat. Um, I'll deal two to that. And one to you. I have to pay two now. And then I'm going to try to trade with his Death Gaze Cockatrice. So if we get lucky, we will draw our basic mountain to be able to kill his other guy. And then he has no more pressure, assuming he doesn't keep drawing creatures. That thing I'm not afraid of. Alright, I will take that. Maybe we'll draw Festering Newt too. Hmm. Does it, that is another red producer, but not exactly what we were looking for. So, if I thought that the next card in our library was a land... I could Messenger Drake. Hmm. I could take maybe two more hits from the Spirit. I think I'd rather just play the, the Drake. I know he has a Frost Breath in hand, so I'm taking six and six. Ooh, yeah, actually, that was a mistake. So now I really need a land, or I'm just dead. I forgot about the Frost Breath in hand, so that was a pretty big punt. Yeah, I need to draw land or I'm dead. Or something to block his spirit. Or a flyer. I mean, I have plenty of outs. Not in great shape, though. He has no cards in hand, fortunately. So he can't Essence Scatter my Archeomancer. I could have Archeomancer Duress him. That might have been a little better. Land. Alright, so we dodged a bullet there. We're still taking three in the air, but at least we're not dead. Just make sure I don't misclick this. As soon as we can untap with our flyers, we can probably take over this game. Make sure we make red mana. Then flames there. Okay. So we're going to two. 
assuming he doesn't draw anything else we have to deal with. Oh man, he drew something to play. Something good? No. That's not fair. Well, another flames. Hmm. I mean, what are our options? We're going to have to go there and then chump. Take one. We get to draw with our messenger drake at least. Maybe we'll draw an opportunity. Yeah, his deck is probably a little bit better than mine. We got a little luckier this game than we did last game. Um, we also didn't draw any of our relevant spells. Shadowborn Demon or anything. Oh man, if he drew a removal spell. Really? Okay, so while our draws were a little better than last turn, his draws were insane. We we did our best with Mind Rot, but um, yeah. Overall, kind of a, a weird game. I'll go back and look at the tape and see if there's anything I could have done differently, but uh, yeah, we lost. He played it well. His deck was probably better. Oh man, I would have drawn Opportunity too, which would have drawn me Death Gaze Cockatrice, which would have dealt with that. Yeah, we would have drawn action. Shadowborn Demon coming down later. <sighs> yep, top decks win it. That Accursed Spirit was annoying. Uh, I'm not going to overanalyze it. I'm just going to go 2-1 and be happy.